Hey, what's going on, everybody? Tim Nadell here. Make sure to follow me online. It's at Tim the Tune Man. So you remember that video I did not too long ago where my brother and I went to Reno, our old childhood hometown, and we revisited friends. We went into our houses and everything. Previously on X-Men. I mean, it's really surreal just being back in my childhood. It was amazing. I'm about to cry. Wow. We now return to the real Ghostbusters. Well, this video is going to be similar to that because, like I said in that video, right around 1993, like october I believe, we moved from Reno to a little town called Bluntstown, Florida. And that is where I am today. So I lived in Bluntstown between 93 and like February of 2000 when I moved away and got a job in Yellowstone up in Wyoming. And uh, I really have not been back too often. I think this may be my third or fourth trip back since then. So to be honest, when we first moved here, I really hated this place. I didn't have any friends. You know, it's hard to move cross country all the way from Nevada to Florida. Totally different culture, honestly. I was in culture shock. Took a little while to make some friends. I finally did. And uh, well, I guess I can take you by the middle school real quick. That's where I made my first handful of friends. Alright, so here I am at the middle school. Man, so in case you don't know, a huge hurricane, Hurricane Michael, hit the Panhandle of Florida in October. With a howling, merciless violence, Hurricane Michael sliced into the Florida Panhandle. The storm devastated coastal communities as the lowest pressure hurricane to strike the U.S. mainland since 1969. And it really destroyed my hometown of Bluntstown and Panama City, which is very close by, about a 45 minute drive. So anyways, here is the middle school where I first made my first handful of friends. I remember walking these halls between classes, trying not to get picked on because sure wasn't easy when I was a new kid from the West Coast. But uh, I made some amazing friends here, like uh, Jody Val, Joey Finney, Mario Bates, Charles Sherrod, Billy Mathers, Chad Ward. I had some great friends in middle school, but um, to be honest, this school right here, uh, 1993 and early part of 1994, worst years of my life. Honestly, I was I was really bullied that year. I would not put my uh, enemies through what I went through that year. Honestly, but I came out all right. These halls right here. This is the first time I'm looking back at them since around 1994. Wow. So speaking of friends. From middle school, my friend Joey Finney that I mentioned, been a friend with him since 1983. He gave me a call and he said, hey, come on over to my place. I'll cook you some burgers and we'll have some fun. So let's go do that real quick. But like I said, this town, as you can see, you can see trees just falling everywhere in this town. It was destroyed. This was a class, I mean, I think they categorize it as a class four hurricane, which is horrible, horrible. But it was really a class five. It demolished Panama City where I spent most of my weekends, honestly. And as you can see by the trees just falling everywhere, this town is a wasteland now, which is a shame because even though it was a very small, you know, it wasn't, you know, people weren't, not everybody here was rich or all, but in all, but it was a cute town. A lot of potential. Trees were just amazing here in Blountstown. And now it's a wasteland, like I said. It's a shame. A lot of my friends were affected by it. I know a lot of friends that their houses were destroyed. Uh, my friend Scott, 
I was going to be staying with him. I am staying with him, actually, the whole time I'm in town. But him and his son are living in like a little RV in the backyard. His wife and daughter are living in the only room that wasn't affected by the hurricane. And me? Here, I'll show you where I'm living when I'm there. So this is my bedroom while living with Scott. Cannot complain. I have been sleeping like a baby every night. Luckily, it's not too hot, not too cold. It's been in the 70s in December and January, which is insane to think about. So I am not complaining whatsoever about this room. I'm just thankful that Scott's house is still up. All right, so I am now with my good friend, Joey Finney, who I have known uh, yeah, it's a little scary. I have known Joey since uh, eighth grade. Yeah. And you haven't. You were. You was, he was always tall in high school and middle school. But maybe not this tall. Well, sadly, you but passed I, my awesomeness. I did pass your awesomeness. So we are about to do what, Joey Finney? We're about to shoot some skeet, bro. I have never done that in my life, ever. I've, I've done shooting, but I haven't shot a gun since I lived in Blountstown, Florida. No, 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 no. It's. Blountstown, Florida. Do people actually say Blountstown, Florida? No, they people don't. People that aren't here know. My grandma said that when we moved here. It's Blountstown. It's like, no, grandma, it's not Blountstown. It's Blountstown. But it is Florida. Yeah, it's Florida. Florida. So I haven't shot a gun since probably early 2000, I think. Which, I'm not opposed to gun. I own three guns. I just never had a reason to shoot it. And you would think in Montana I'd go hunting or, you know, shooting, but I just don't. So we are going to about to go and shoot some of these bad boys right there. Are right, you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. That's a, that's a practice shot. Yeah. One, two, three. Hey. Gotta find the groove, just like yeah. Stella, man. Now, all this crap I've been giving you, I cannot miss. One, two, three. You ready for a twofer? Yeah, I'll do two. Let's do a twofer. Are you going to be doing it at the same time? We're going to do it at the same time. Okay. So you got to pound, rack, pound. Okay. Ready? I'm already going to call this. This is going to be my bad. <laughs> right. One, two, three. Oh, oh my got God. It. I may have you got, got it. both of them. That last one, like, was totally above the ground. For the record, he got it. Wow. So right across the street from the Golden's Pharmacy was a place that my dad actually owned and operated a deli called Nidell's North Main Street Deli. And this is the backside of it right here. I have not seen this backside since, God, 2000, 99? I don't remember. So we had the deli between 93 and about 98 until my dad um, had a major heart attack. He really couldn't keep it up anymore. So we had to close it down. So well, that's it right there. And here is the front of the deli. 
had a really cool sign right about there. Now, if you want to buy a shirt, I actually made a shirt of Madell's North Main Street Deli with that same exact logo. I'll put it in the description below. And right now I am parked right in front of my old high school, the Bluntstown High School. Now, I just found out this past few months ago that it's no longer the high school. The high school is now the old middle school, which we already saw. And the high school built a brand new building, which actually was kind of destroyed because by the hurricane as well. But here is my old high school. You know, a lot of bittersweet memories going on in that place. I made some amazing, amazing friends that are still some of my best friends today. I had some good times in there. I, even though I was still kind of picked on in school, my ninth and 10th grade year, I was still picked on quite a bit from the same bullies from the, the uh, middle school, but I made amazing friends in there. And yeah, I have good memories of this high school. Here's a little bit of footage that my buddy Elias Torres shot from high school. And here's a quick clip of my high school 20th reunion that just took place over this past weekend. And actually that's the reason why I'm back at my hometown for the first time in 10 years. the trees I mean the trees used to fill up a ton more back here but the hurricane really tore them all down I see a huge one right there just torn down look at that man look to the right look at that look at those trees just just gone there were a ton of trees back here and now they're all gone so my house, second one on the left, right here, over that tree is kind of leaning. This was my old house. Oh man, oh man. Look at this place. This is my old house. I used to live in that back house back there. It was my grandparents' house. We built it for them. But I took over after they both passed away. And I lived there about a year and a half, maybe two years. <laughs> My friend Ricky and Scott actually moved in with me. Uh, funny thing is, so I didn't get a chance to repaint, to repaint the uh, room that I was living in. It's a giant, giant room. Only one bedroom, like a studio apartment kind of a thing. And uh, the bedroom was pink. We had a pink bedroom and they both moved in with me. One bedroom. Pink room, three guys, no doors on the bathroom whatsoever. And it was a, uh, it was a fun time. Yeah. Now the good thing is, I guess, I've driven by a few times. I really don't think the house took any damage whatsoever, except for the back patio. I can see, got kind of, uh, kind of blown off the the roof. Kind of got blown off the back patio. But I think it's very lucky. I think it's because. When we lived there, we had about 10 pine trees in the front yard. And after we sold the house, and I think my mom and dad moved away in 2001 or something, after they sold the place, they the new owners took out every single pine tree in the front yard. Now, I was very upset when I saw that because it was, to me, it looked kind of trashy. They put a, a chain link fence up, didn't really care for that. Looked kind of bare in the front. Didn't really care for no pine trees, but honestly, thank you, because I think you may have saved the house because those pine trees would have been all over the roof. And I really, most houses here in Blount Sound have a tarp on um, the blue tarps right there. You see them. Almost every house has that. And our house does not. I think it was saved because they took out those trees. A 
Okay, so now I'm about to go to a good friend of mine's house. Uh, his name is Neil Alday. I don't know if you guys know the band named Social Burn. Here's a little sample of their work. So I became really, really good friends with Neil and uh, the rest of the band of Social Burn because they actually are from this little town here in Bluntstown, Florida. Went to high school with them, hung out with them quite a bit, honestly, going to concerts, going to Panama City, going to Tallahassee. Had a great time with those guys, especially Neil. So let's go to Neil's place. I think I got another good buddy there, uh, Justin Richter, another great high school buddy. So let's go check them out. In the world All right, so right now I am with my good old pal Scott Bailey. I've known him since he was like this tall, maybe. Yeah, yeah. maybe, yeah. A little skinnier, maybe. <laughs> A lot skinnier. <laughs> so we are where? Where are we? Uh, the Clarksville Landing at Highway 20. Um, it's the Chipola River. Yeah, I just want to show you guys how flooded it is. This is post Hurricane Michael, and it's been raining ever since October, they said. Yeah, basically, and there's a little, basically the three big trees that are together is the end of like the landing. That's usually where you, like basically, oh, uh, those, your bank, so. those ones right there? Yeah, and there's a high water mark, but it's on the side of the tree. From the highest it's ever been, I guess, 1998, which is the year I graduated from here. Yeah, yeah man, this looks like a total wasteland. It's like a walking dead end of the world, all because of Hurricane Michael.